Welcome to my studio. My name is Ryan Freeman, and today I'll be showing you how to install, save, and apply mastering presets in Logic Pro. Today I'll be installing my podcast master preset pack, uh, which is available on my website. It's ryanfreeman.com. So don't worry, it's not that hard installing these presets. We'll have you up and running in no time. All right, let's do it. So when you download my podcast master presets, you will have a zip folder. What you'll want to do is unzip it, and when You've unzipped it, you will see Podcast Master Presets Logic Pro X. And this is the folder that you will click and you will see Ryan Freeman Podcast Master. So here are the 12 mastering presets that we will be installing today. And in the folder, in addition to the mastering presets, we have a kind of folder guide that will help you guide you along so you know where to drop these uh, the presets into. And we also have a fairly detailed text file that lets you know exactly what to do. So what you want to do is open a new window in your finder. I've already kind of mapped out the folder guide here for you for where we will want it to end up. But what you will do is go to your Macintosh HD. I mean, you can rename it. So whatever you've renamed this as, your Mac HD, go to users, whatever your username is, mine is Freeman House. You will go to music, audio music apps, channel strip settings, Output. Don't get it confused with this master. It's the output. So once you've selected the output folder, go back to the podcast master presets. It's this folder here that has a little blue dot. Click and drag it into the output folder. Now your presets will appear in Logic and it's as easy as that. So now go and open up a new Logic project. I've gone ahead and have already started a bit of a template to be mastered. I have a music bed, a little score that I've made for one of my podcasts. And I also have an introduction voiceover for the beginning of this specific podcast episode. So I thought this is actually a great example. It's kind of like your traditional um, podcast with a, you know, with music in the background and that kind of voiceover narration guide. I have podcast master presets. But I also have podcast voice processing presets for Adobe Audition, GarageBand, Logic Pro, and Audacity. So right now I have my voice processing preset, the male mid voice medium, which is kind of like my go-to for my voice. That is on right here. And what I've done, as you can see in the mixer, I brought it down to about minus eight, minus seven dB. I brought it down to that because with the music and the voiceover, you'll see it comes up to around minus six or minus five dB. And really the mastering presets that I've made act extremely well with the final mix that is around that minus six dB. Once again, it's in those um, detailed instructions here when you do buy the mastering presets. But when you have your final mix around that minus six dB, that's when these mastering presets really shine. So this is how you open and apply the mastering presets. Go to your output channel. You can also find that in the mixer view. Go to your output channel, go to settings, click down to user channel strip settings and Ryan Freeman podcast master presets. There they are. Remove the mud, sparkle and shine, the Ryan Freeman classic and tone down. Remove the mud I think is pretty self-explanatory. If you have a fairly muddy mix and you just want to carve out that mid, that kind of hard to get rid of uh, muddy sound, muffled sound, um, which I know a lot of microphones kind of give. And just as a little side note, mastering is supposed to be subtle and gentle. If you really want to dig deep and really take out a lot of that kind of muckiness and muffleness and make your sound very bright, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that in mastering. I'd rather see you do that in processing of the individual sounds themselves. So you're now affecting the final sound within the master. Sparkle and shine just makes it a little brighter if you need that. The Ryan Freeman Classic has all of the above. Remove some of the mud, makes it a little brighter. Just a real nice crispy compression. Um, yeah, I just love it. I'd recommend starting on the medium. If it's a little too much, go to the light. If the medium isn't enough, go to the hard. That's kind of how it works. These are light, medium, hard intensities per these kind of different settings. But for this, I'm going to do the Ryan Freeman Classic Medium. I think it's all it needs. So in this example, 
I'll play it before and after. And as you'll see, the master really glues the sound together, the final sound being the music and the voiceover. I don't know if you kind of suffer with this sometimes, where if, if you haven't really been doing any mastering in your podcast, if you have voiceover music, um, sometimes the music might be fairly low because you want to obviously hear the narration and the voice. But why not have best of both worlds where you can hear and feel the emotion and the presence of the music, but at the same time have a very clear and crisp upfront kind of vocal sound. That's what we're going for. And that's what these master presets really deliver on. So here's a before. I'm Ryan Freeman and you're listening to Workshop. Jakob de Boer is a fine arts photographer working out of Toronto and Paris. He just finished his new photography series called And this is after with the mastering preset activated. I'm Ryan Freeman and you're listening to Workshop. Jakob de Boer is a fine arts photographer working out of Toronto and Paris. He just finished his new photography series called Where Ravens Cry, captured in the Pacific Northwest on so as you can see, and I'll do another before and after, but when the mastering is activated, you get a bit more of an upfront kind of unified sound um, as a whole. I'll go to over here where the music is a little heavier and I'll turn it off and listen to how the music sounds a little more distant. Um, and that could either be music or sound effects, whatever it might be, depending on your kind of genre or style of podcast. When these mastering presets are off, everything kind of sounds a little more distant and separate, but when you activate this preset, it really brings your whole sound together into one unified sound. So here's the off. I approach my work. I've never really met someone more dedicated to mastering their craft than Jakob. Regardless of what industry you're in, you won't want to miss this episode. So as you can hear when I turned on the processing, it really brought the music up and the vocals sound really kind of crisp and, and forward and everything sounded really great. And so that's the beauty of these podcast mastering presets. All right, so that's how you install a mastering preset in Logic Pro. I hope you guys like this video. I told you it's pretty easy, right? Not so hard. All right, so if you could leave a comment down below, if you have any questions, I'll try my best to get back to everyone. Um, you know, this is a community. Uh, definitely try not to email me questions, leave it down below. Um, that way we can all kind of talk and learn from one another. I think it's uh, really the beauty of YouTube so we can all learn from each other. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found it helpful, helps me out a lot. I have a lot of great content that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, hope to see you in the next video.